Um, hey, Brittany. Um, hey, fast food is fine, too. Um, anyway, you know, these sketches are really good because they're already showing a lot of personality and they're al already quite animated. Um, as you probably know from looking at your classmates' sketches, um, you know, a lot of students really approach this um, just from that one point perspective. This is slightly one point, but again, you can see the kind of side of, oh, taco, okay. Um, you know, the side view, and this, in this view, also, too, is a really nice side view, kind of. And you're already starting to move, you know, the things around to, you know, to, just to show that you, um, you know, you're really working on trying to, to create, a, you know, an actual caricature. Um, so let's see, you've got the drumstick. And, you know, the good thing about Photoshop is that, um, you know, you can really do so much editing with the images once you get them. You know what I mean? You, could, you I mean, you can make this part of the drumstick look bigger. You could do things with the french fries, even though you might want to get a couple different kinds of fries, like a crinkly one and then a little one, maybe try a tater tot at the bottom or something like that. Um, let's look at this one. This one's really pretty cool, too. Baked potato, popcorn, pickles. So, yeah, just really go for it, um, you know, because this is actually a really fun assignment. Um, and you mentioned you haven't done anything like this before, but it really is fun. And it's a typical kind of Photoshop composite that'll be really good to have in your portfolio. And again, there's your hot dogs. And again, see how you're looking at the perspective. This is in the angle of view. This is from the side view and this is looking straight ahead. So really good to get thinking in this way because that's, you know, when you start to get the accumulate these photos, um, it's going to really help as well. Um, this one's really funny. So the, um, one thing I do want to mention is um, no facial features, um, human features. You, you're going to need to create any kind of face that you might want to use out of, um, you know, other kind of food parts. So just something to keep in mind. Um, so anyway, I just wanted to show you a couple of examples of past student work just to show you where this is going. Um, and again, to illustrate what I mean by perspective. So again, Right. I don't know if you've had the class before, but this is three point perspective. So this is your mini lesson here. Um, so you see three sides, right? This side of the computer, this side of printer, this side and the top side. So three sides. You're seeing two sides here. So this is two point. But again, look at how, you know, she really worked hard on this. And I love the side view. Everything else looks really great, too. These are finals, too. So um, let's see. And again, this one shows a couple sides, use of perspective again, and different, just like you did, where you have the different views, which are very consistent. Um, messed up text, but really nice caricature. Same here, smaller, you know, in the back. Um, some really nice details he drew in. Um, there's that one. I'm looking for a couple food ones. Um, and again, all the variety of objects. Um, I suggest starting off with more than five when you start to photograph these and get them next week. Um, and again, this is a little overkill, but it, it came out good. I mean, it was high scoring. It's just got too much going on in the background. And it's supposed to be really about the, the caricature, not about everything else. And this is a really cool one. Um, again, later in the class, we're going to be doing the text and the, um, the background. I'm looking for another food one. Gosh darn it, did I not put that food one in there? Other food one? Oh, that's annoying. Um, just a second. Um, this is the garden one. Gosh, I had a bunch with the food one. I just wanted to show you a couple more of the food food thing, but maybe not going to happen, huh? Shoot. Really annoying. 